this tells you that how easy a kid can get a gun and bring it or just a little fight about something can just make can just this happens I mean Uh, I just, I didn't think he would do something like this. I never think, I mean, he just, he was, had a good life. He was very well known, popular, I mean, I don't know what happened. Yeah, I mean, I was like, yeah. This was not somebody that anybody would expect, and um, I think really it just proves that you don't, you can't really judge somebody, and um, that really you need to know your kids, and you need to know if they need help. I know the family. I know the mom and dad. Um, the mom used to be a, a school board member. She just left the board a couple years ago. So it's a, you know, this just points up that, you know, these tragedies come out of any family. We have two patients that remain here at Providence Regional. Uh, they're both young women, both are 14 years old. Uh, one's name is Shaley, um, Shaley Chucklenasket. Shaylee is goes by the name of Shay to her friends, and she uh, remains in critical condition. The second patient is Gia Soriano, also 14, and also remains in critical condition. Well, the sur it's mainly surgery is fairly straightforward. It's uh, debridement of tissue, and. Um, doing surgery in a way that allows for the brain to swell and, and then contract later on. I will say that the next three days are going to be crucial. Uh, these, these young people are being monitored moment by moment.